Trevor Dean machine. We're vlogging. We got this guy, Sophomore. We're on a Velvet Voyager. We're a, a founding member of Velvet Voyager. We are now on a uh, voyage of our own <laughs> to a nice little thrift store called. Um, what is it called? I don't know. The white men killed many of this animal and then traded them. Right, right, right. Actually, it was a targeted, it was basically targeted assassination of the buffalo, so it's to starve the Native American people. Buffalo Exchange! Buffalo Exchange! That's where we're going. <laughs> So if you can't see us, you'll definitely be able to hear our stupid thoughts and my complaints of how cold it is. We might be going the wrong way. It's Google Maps, everybody. Chill out. Yeah, we're going the wrong way. Damn it. Cold boys forever. Paid off for we can now go to the Buffalo Exchangier. Trying to go to church? Unity, everybody. We realize we don't have any money. And this isn't really a thrift store, it's like nice clothes. It's like we found the gentrification. Our review right now is a two out of ten. Two out of five. Two out of ten. That was two out of ten. Yeah. Two out of ten. Don't yeah. Do. do you want to be in it? Yeah. No. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. So we're here at Buffalo Exchange. What's up? Oh, I just flicked off the camera because I'm holding this. But <laughs> yeah, we met Chantel. Yeah. And we just—I found this super dope velvet, and then it turns out, Cop. after some searching, some soul searching, we found. Two sick pieces that we may or may not wear at the same time. Just shine Pull up upon the them on the rack. Yeah. Come visit your local Buffalo Exchange. Check out my SoundCloud at Chance Lee. Yeah. Dope. So I just shouted myself out. <laughs> no, it's cool. We do I'm cutting thing. this out. Sorry. Uh... So dope. Yeah. <laughs> look how, look at how clean they look. No, you're clean with it. Don't sleep on yourself. Okay, we got the shirts. We're about to get out of here. They're super styling in this thing. Yeah. I wish y'all could see the shirts again, but we're not wearing those. <laughs> yeah. But y'all know what they look like. You know. You know. But now they come. know. Yep. Chantel at Buffalo Exchange, thanks again. <laughs> so we started off, our hopes were low. We thought it was another pretentious, horrible thrift store. Right. And it wasn't even really a thrift store, but then 
then we got the shirts. The blue velvet shirts saved the day. Midnight and it, blue it, velvet blouses. Where else are you going to find two of the same shirt like that? And so it took our review from a two to a ten. So, your thoughts, sir? Well, we just bought two midnight blue velvet tops from the Buffalo Exchange in Dallas. And I kind of, I'm kind of conflicted because they are super dope. But they're both from H&M, and if you've been following the most recent news cycle, you know that H&M as a multinational, multi, uh, yeah, multi-million well, making company needs to make better decisions regarding their advertising, we, even if they're Swedish. We didn't have to tell people that, but now they know. Shit, we, we supported them. Did we just <laughs> out? Okay, well, we didn't buy it from H&M. We bought it from the Buffalo Exchange. We support Buffalo Exchange. So we, we didn't put money directly into the hands of racist capitalist machines <laughs> who right. don't they don't know what uh, so you would think someone gets paid the big bucks to <laughs> to tell someone whoever in advertising hey if you're advertising to the american people you shouldn't put a young black boy on a magazine with the shirt that says he's a monkey like that's bad for him. but needless to say we found Velvet is velvet. <laughs> <laughs> and velvet is in. And velvet must voyage on the backs of the velvet voyagers. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>